If we want to look more attractive, feel more healthy, and have more energy, and ultimately live a richer and longer life, then we must deeply consider the importance of maintaining our organism's optimal condition. Moderate sun exposure is perhaps the most important factor contributing to the state of our health. Look at the plants, the trees, the animals in nature. They spend the majority of their time under the sun. If a plant gets no sun, its growth becomes stunted. Complete deprivation of sunlight and the plant will not survive. Conversely, adequate sunlight will keep the organism in an optimal condition through many mechanisms such as cell functioning, vitamin D, melatonin synthesis, mitochondrial enhancement, and so on. Think about the areas on Earth where there is abundant sunlight, the tropics. The tropical flowers are exotic and beautiful. The fruit is colorful, rich and full of flavor. The animals too are colorful, majestic, powerful, and in some cases highly venomous. They have been absorbing much energy from the sun and it is reflected in their powerful and robust constitutions. Are we so different from plants? Studies on humans and mice following UV exposure have reported higher levels of testosterone, higher attractiveness and stated it plays a major role in the regulation of sexuality on both behavioral and endocrinological levels. The benefits are many. For millions of years, animals have lived and thrived from the energy of the sun. It has only been about since the 1960s that the concept of the sun being a danger became a mainstream notion. Before proceeding any further, I will state clearly that excessive sunburn can have detrimental effects on the organism, and none of the information here is in support of excessive sun exposure. Moderate sun exposure, however, has been shown to promote a whole host of benefits to the organism and is regarded in many cultures as the source of life. The sun was regarded as a chief deity in many ancient cultures. Evidence of the use of the sun as a health restorative and preservative measure may be found in every period of history, in all peoples, savage or civilized. Positive evidence of the hygienic use of the sun is found in the history of the Egyptians and other peoples. The Babylonians, Egyptians and Assyrians had their sun gardens, the Greeks their Heliosus, the Romans their Solaria, Akhenaten of Egypt, Zoroaster of Persia, Hippocrates of Greece, each and all elevated the sun to the dignity of a god and a force. The great sanitarium of Hippocrates on the island of Kos was equipped with a large solarium for the use of the sun. The Roman Thermi were all equipped with solaria for those taking sunbaths. Pliny says that in these hot houses the sun is very helpful. Hippocrates extols the excessive action of sunlight. Herodotus gives extensive instructions for the use of the sunbath, emphasizing its effects in strengthening the muscles and nerves. Antiolus describes at some length the effects of sunlight, his description comparing well with those of modern users. Philostratus tells us that the Olympian athletes were required to take sun baths. Herbert Shelton, 1934. The most universally recognized benefit of sun exposure is vitamin D production. Unlike other essential vitamins, which must be obtained from food, Vitamin D can be synthesized in the skin through a photosynthetic reaction triggered by exposure to UVB radiation. For most white people, a half hour in the summer sun in a bathing suit can initiate the release of 50,000 IU vitamin D into the circulation within 24 hours of exposure. M. Nathaniel Mead Getting sufficient vitamin D intake will greatly benefit your blood, bones, organs, particularly the heart, mitochondrial function, hormone regulation, immune system, and much more. How do so many go about their days avoiding this major source of life? The necessity of the sun to survival is instinctual to all life on earth. It is our ultimate power source. Taoist author Mantek Chia wrote, our body can in fact absorb energy from nature. Some parts are more absorptive of the life energy than other parts. The lower part of the body, P1, 
penis and testes especially, can absorb more power than the other lower parts. During the course of civilization, man has hidden the reproductive organs as secret things. So we have what is commonly called underpants and panties to protect from the outer world. That is the part that can absorb much natural energy to strengthen the body or greatly increase force and endurance in sex life. The more we keep it hidden from nature, the weaker the parts will be. It will affect your entire body deleteriously. In every cell in our body, we contain mitochondria. Your mitochondria is the powerhouse of your cell that produces energy. It is perhaps accurate to think of it as the battery producing the electricity for your body to function. Much like a battery, the mitochondria can overheat when producing this energy. Overheating can cause oxidative stress, which leads to aging, inflammation, and over time can lead to serious illness. To counteract this overheating, your body produces melatonin at night, which reduces oxidative stress. During the day, infrared radiation from light helps to create melatonin in your body. This is why the sun has been said to actively prevent oxidative stress and protect mitochondrial function. Dr. Swell, Medcram, 2022. The mitochondria produces energy for our body to function and sunlight produces energy for our mitochondria to function. Research has shown, as for mitochondria, sunlight changes the structure of water, negatively charging the water in your cells. This activates the cells and improves mitochondrial function. Maintaining optimal function of the mitochondria plays a vital role in the overall lifespan of the organism. There is a lot more research and information beyond the scope of this video. Please review this information and reach your own conclusions. Recognizing how to live in accordance with nature will carry the benefits of cultivating your mind and body in the direction that nature intended, towards beauty, towards nature, towards truth.